Hello, beautiful beings. So I'm going through a pop quiz right now. A pop quiz in my life is something that comes up that I've been through many, many times before. The purpose is to show me just how far I've come, how rooted in presence I am, they're saying. So this particular pop quiz that came up last night is the fact that I do not get to move into the trailer I thought I was going to move into because they couldn't hook up the electricity because it needs 120 amps and all that's available is 70 at the RV park. So I was told that last night and I have no mental activity around it at all, which is absolutely amazing. For many, many years now, I've been going through this process where when the seasons change to winter, I don't know where I'm going to go. And, and then, yeah, I mean, so many times, not just when it turns winter, but, but you know, it'll come up to where, okay, I have to leave where I'm at. So I, where am I going to go next? And that has had the potential, not just the potential. I have been in tremendous fear over the years because of that crying and head going, and I can't stop thinking about it. And I'm trying to figure it out. And, um, I don't have any of that right now at all. None. And it's not just logically because I know everything always works out but that does help. It's that I've been practicing for so long, turning my attention to way away from any useless thinking, especially the useless thinking that comes with fear. They're saying just, I mean, when I've been in fear, all the thoughts that are on the same vibration, as fear, a much lower vibration, they just come rushing in like a tsunami. And I, I, there was a time in my life that there's no way that I was able to stop that flow of, of thinking because I was acting on it. I was reacting from that fear. Also, I was reacting from all the, all the thoughts that told me that I should uh, figure it out and, and try harder and, you know, don't just ignore it. My mind used to try to tell me when I was trying, when I was practicing turning my attention away from any fear-based thoughts, it would try to tell me that you're just, you're just ignoring the situation. You need to be more logical, more realistic about it. No, it's, uh, everything comes from presence. Everything comes from my own natural state of being. It's only from lifetimes on this planet that the mind has become overactive. It seems like our natural state, but it's, it's not. So it's such a beautiful day, just one beautiful day after the next. And I do have a place to live and I always will have a place to live. I can say that and actually feel it. So, so many years of my life, a part of this um, learning how to be rooted in presence has been to act my way into proper thinking. And that is like telling myself everything is always working out for me way before I realized that it always has been and way before I believed it. I have been saying those things it's, I've because it's, I've made it a habit to say those things, especially in times where the situation is, is incredibly fear-based. Ancients, is there anything else we want to say about this? Well, they've been encouraging me to record a video this morning because we want to be an example of how because we've been conditioned to worry about things and it makes it seem like that's what we're supposed to do in order to help things work out. If that makes any sense at all, no. We want to be an example that we don't have to worry in order for things to work out. Actually, things work out a lot, a lot more quickly when there's no resistance around the situation. So... I just feel incredibly blessed. I get to go 
uh, be with my one of my granddaughters a little bit later. She has Rett syndrome and she doesn't speak and she doesn't walk, but she is an earth angel. She looks you right in your eyes and just looks right into your soul. Uh, Lisa and I connect in presence because she's firmly in presence. When I look into her eyes, I see her and she smiles a lot and she laughs too. So she's such a blessing. And, and so when I woke up this morning, my mind didn't go to where am I going to live when it gets really cold out? It went to, I get to go hang out with my granddaughter, Lisa today. <laughs> If, if my mind is active around anything, it's my hair, which is, sounds absolutely ridiculous, doesn't it? But I've had this thing about my hair for so many years now. I swear I've been trying to grow it long for about 30 years or more, <laughs> and I always end up doing something to it. But at least now, it's to the point where it's all my own natural colored hair, and it's it's very, very healthy, and I'm on hormones now, and you know I have I take my hair, skin, and nail gummies, and what else for that? I guess that's about it. And so it's going to grow really fast, but I just have to accept the way it is right now, and um, it doesn't matter. Uh, last time I cut my hair, not this time, but when I cut it myself, I asked the ancients, why do I keep messing my hair up? Why do I keep making it so I can't have long hair? And they said, to remind you of how unimportant it is. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> it's just hair. At least I'm not Barbie and it won't grow back. <laughs> yeah, and they're also reminding me some people are going through the cancer um, uh, lesson right now. It's, you know, life is all about lessons and learning and growing. So, you know, they don't have any hair at all. So, so there's always something. When I was going to AA, somebody said one time, if everyone were to throw their troubles into a pile in the middle of the table and we all looked at them, we would be scrambling to get ours back. <laughs> and it's absolutely true. So that's it for now. Uh, I don't know if I'll make a video. Uh, I, I never know when I'm going to be compelled to, to make a video, but I know one of these very soon is going to be about the outcome of this pop quiz that I'm going through. I don't even feel like I'm going through it. I'm watching to see what the divine has, has planned for me because the feeling that I got last night when I was told that I wouldn't be able to move into that, that trailer was, Oh wow. I, that must, that is absolutely for my highest good. I can't wait to see what the divine has planned because it has to be much better because I thought what was happening was really great because they're saying, I thought the main reason I thought it was really great was because it gave me a sense of security, but I don't need to have that sense of security to know that everything is always working out for me. Yeah. I trust the divine. I really, really do. It takes a while to really feel that, but all the work, all the effort that I put into that, is 100% worth it. <laughs> so I'll sign with Mama G at gmail.com. If you're going through, I think I always say calm. <laughs> if you're going through a pop quiz today, you've been blindsided by something that's making you cry and making your head spin. We would love to talk to you about that. <laughs> See what comes through for the from the ancients for you. Love you so much.